This is Millionaire Mondays. Every Monday we present you with another multi-millionaire. Today we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Kim Jong-un. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hey there, Aluxers. Are you ready to have a look inside the life of one of the most powerful and feared leaders in the world? Yes, we're talking about North Korea's supreme leader, Kim Jong-un. After his father passed away in 2012, he took his place as head of state and has been ruling with a fist of iron since. North Korea is a well-known socialist state that acts very strange and restrictive. Not much truth is known about the country or of its leaders because they control all of the info out there. For example, Kim's birth year is still debatable because there are different sources citing different years, so he's 34 or 35 years old. He keeps his life and his country very private, and that makes everyone else even more curious. He went to school in Switzerland, so the Western culture is not so strange to him, and we also know he enjoys some luxury pleasures. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. But more on that's to come. Let's get started. Number 1. He spends over $600 million per year. Kim Jong-un has all the money his country makes at his fingertips. He can spend as much as he wants, and that's exactly what he's doing. With imported liquor, designer presents for his wife, and crazy, luxurious collections, his bills have many zeros. Kim spends over $600 million a year for a lifestyle worthy of a leader. Everything he owns is private and custom-made for him, and most importantly, from the best and most expensive brands. Although North Korea does not import many things, most items owned by Kim are imported. This is what money and power gets you, while the rest of your country is in poverty. Number 2. He is a big basketball fan. Because Kim Jong-un went to boarding school in Switzerland, where his mother was being treated for cancer, he got to explore modern sports like skiing and basketball and fell in love with them. He admired basketball legends like Michael Jordan and got to spend two days with Dennis Rodman during his visit to North Korea. Apparently, the basketball star was the first American that Kim met and was very thrilled about it. Kim Jong-un is a big fan of the Chicago Bulls basketball team and has welcomed Rodman with lavish seven-star parties with yachts, villas, and everything you could have ever wanted, as he stated. Number 3. He Owns a Private Island as the supreme leader, Kim owns everything in North Korea and makes the biggest decisions. Kim enjoys a very wealthy and exclusive lifestyle in Korea. He has a private island, yachts, jet skis, a private train station, a personal chef, private jets, and high-end amenities. Since he took power, he's been spending lots of money on luxury and comfort, more than $75 million, according to a report. Number 4. He Wants to Change His Global Perception and Image All the purchases we mentioned before, along with travels and some new visitors, are all part of his plan to change the world's perception over his cruel image. He wants to be perceived as a young and dynamic leader, so a little good PR needs to be done. Although most people say he is a faithful copy of his father, Kim has done some major improvements and steps toward better ties with political friendships. Number 5. His net worth is estimated to be almost $10 billion. Since Kim keeps his private life private, some serious investigations were needed in order to find out crucial information about him, his net worth, and his family. A few journalists and the UN are estimating that his net worth is somewhere between 5 to $10 billion. This includes personal assets, estates, and bank accounts owned by his family. Most of the money comes from North Korea's resources, illegal ivory trafficking, and alcohol, as some reports say. 
whatever business he's doing, illegal or otherwise. It seems to be providing enough for his lavish lifestyle. Number 6. He allegedly poisoned his brother. The rise to power is paved with dark secrets. Kim is the youngest of his siblings. He has another sister and an older brother, but because he was more fitted to take over rather than his brother, who was the rightful heir to do so, he allegedly had him killed. Firstly, his brother Kim Jong-nam didn't inherit power because he dishonored his country by visiting Disneyland in Tokyo back in 2001. To make sure he allegedly would never become a problem, he was poisoned in 2017. He was traveling under a pseudonym because he has been the target of failed assassinations in the past. Most people blame his brother for it, but an investigation is still ongoing. Number 7. He spent $25 million on a ski resort that no one uses. Life in North Korea is not easy. People work hard for everything they have and for their leader's lifestyle. Recently, he spent over $25 million on a new ski resort. It was not an easy job because they couldn't import the chairlift from Switzerland due to the trade ban between the two. Of course, Kim considered this a serious breach of human rights. Maybe it hurts him he can't buy Swiss watches that easily. Nevertheless, the brand new ski resort has only one problem. People can't afford to go skiing at a luxury resort because most of North Korea's population is poor and tourism is almost non-existent. This means they can't make a profit from the investment either. Number 8. He brought a portable toilet with him to Singapore. Traveling is tough and very restrictive. You end up on the other side of the world and all of your routines change. Rich people get to travel with private planes, stay in expensive hotels, and bring in everything they need to feel like home. Kim Jong-un brought a portable toilet, food, and a bulletproof limousine with him during his Singapore summit. He doesn't trust any other country except for China to offer him safe and comfortable options. Kim also suffers from diabetes, so he takes his health and safety very seriously. Number 9. He Smokes YSL Cigarettes One of the luxuries Kim Jong-un enjoys is smoking. We all have vices, but some of us get to have the ultimate posh alternative like YSL cigarettes. And I guess for those of you who didn't know this already, yes, YSL makes cigarettes too. A pack of his high-end luxury cigarettes costs $55, and they seem to be catered towards women more than men. Givenchy, Versace, and Cartier are also selling luxury cigarettes for those who want to be extra to the very last detail, just like Kim Jong-un. And just a quick reminder, by smoking a pack a day, Kim is spending $20,000 per year on this one vice alone. Number 10. He lives in a palace with his family. What type of home is worthy of a supreme leader? A palace, right? Kim Jong-un proudly lives in a massive palace with his wife and three children. The house was photographed by a Russian, and it's a well-known estate for parties and a good time. The house looks over the mountains, has amazing gardens, a helipad, and luxury cars in the driveway. He also has another house for his chef, other villas for guests, and a runway for his jets and yachts. The mansion is located in Pyongyang and is connected through tunnels with other mansions nearby where Kim can live. There isn't any information about how much it's worth, but we can estimate it's around at least $50 million. Number 11. His haircut is mandatory for young men and is called ambitious. Kim Jong-un has managed to impose mandatory respect from his nation and also from a few countries as well. He keeps the same appearance with sleek black hair and a suit. But now his signature hairstyle has a name in North Korea. It's called Ambitious. Only epithets when it comes to their supreme leader. All students need to do their hair like Kim. 
There are very strict rules made up for North Korea's residents, and they need to follow them accordingly, or else months of hard work and imprisonment await them. Number 12. He owns an $8 million yacht. On the list of luxury and expensive items owned by Kim is also a princess top-of-the-line yacht that's estimated to be worth $8 million. The yacht is apparently decorated by Italian designer Fendi, and it may just be the most luxurious craft princess yacht to have ever been built. Another sign for his love of luxury is the fact that his wife is constantly wearing designer bags from Dior and other designers. Some of the bags cost more than the annual average salary of North Korean citizens. He also spends a lot of money on his own personal style by buying Nike shoes, Swiss watches, and Prada glasses. I guess luxury goods will always find their way into North Korea, at least in the hands of its supreme leader. Number 13. He has a longevity institute with 130 doctors that are instructed to keep him healthy. By far the weirdest thing that Kim has pulled together is the Longevity Institute. It's not meant for the people, it's a project he came up with that involves 130 doctors that have one simple job to do, keep him healthy. Kim has a pretty unhealthy lifestyle, full of vices and parties as well as diabetes and cardiovascular problems. Doctors had to study overweight North Koreans to understand what's happening to Kim and how to help him. Unfortunately for their study, people in North Korea are not often overweight. Number 14. There are Kim Jong-un face masks. Asia is that one place where everything is possible. They copy every well-known brand on Earth, but also they make some of their own custom products that are very odd to Westerners. For example, there is a Kim Jong-un sheet face mask that has stirred some serious controversy. The masks are created by a South Korean company, and they have propaganda slogans on them as a tribute to the summit held this year. One mask costs three and a half dollars, and many stores have discontinued them because of the political meaning behind it. Also in South Korea, it's illegal to talk favorably about North Korea because the two countries are technically still at war. Number 15. He bought 160 Mercedes for his high-ranking officials. It's important to keep your employees happy, right? Reward them with bonuses, money, or some Christmas gifts. That's what most people do. But not Kim Jong-un. He went the extra mile and spent a fortune to please his most loyal 160 high-ranking officials. He bought each one of them a top-of-the-line Mercedes-Benz. The generous gift cost him $11.7 million total, but now they have a branded fleet of Mercedes cars to make it look like they're all from the same institution. Being close to a powerful person is full of luxurious surprises, so who knows what other kind gifts Kim will offer. As one of the most controversial leaders of our generation, Kim definitely has one of the strongest reputations in our world. Not even the likes of the leaders of America or Russia compares with him. He's young, powerful, rich, feared, and to some, a little laughable. Now that you know so much more about his private life and his lifestyle, do you think he's a bad person? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.